Hello some viewers, how are you all? Welcome back to another video. Guys, in this video, we are going to discuss how to generate a counter in JMeter. How we can increment the value of a variable in the background using JMeter. Without any further ado, let us start the video. For that guys, so I have to in the test plan, I have to create a counter variable, I have to give the value 0. In the last video, we would have seen I have given name as true for if controller. So now, for that guys, let me create one preprocessor. So in the preprocessor, you have user parameters. Click on the user parameters. Now click on the add variable. In the add variable, I have to give the same name which I gave in the test plan, counter. I have to write dollar, dollar here, open bracket, close bracket, flower bracket. I have to give two underscores. I have to write int, yes, um, in sum, open bracket, close bracket. I have to write a dollar here. In the dollar, I have to write open bracket, close bracket. I have to write the variable counter and I will be incrementing by one. If you give two uh, more than that, it will increment by that variable by that value so I'll make this uh, user parameters go to the top so user parameters so I'll put it here so now I'll write the HTTP request I'll give the uh, value also like this counter and I'll uh, run for this for let's say uh, five threads right and if controller I have used in the previous uh, previous if controllers video so if it is less than 100 it will execute this dummy sampler here i have to give comma here and i think because of that it let's see and the user http request i have kept it here user parameters i'll put above http request and i'll put the counter here also and this should be a flower bucket flower bucket and comma so let me go to users tree let me execute it now. So we got HTTP request and the counter increased to 1. So if you want to handle it, uh, let's say for 5 threads, right? So I'll clear the screen. I'll uh, run it again now. So it should be 1 because all the time the counter is only 1. So what if uh, I want uh, to run for 1 thread? Let's take uh, uh, 6 loops. So now let us see the result now. So for each and every time the, the counter we have is 6. So the value got incremented as soon as the debug sampler is there. So it went inside the dummy sampler. So dummy sampler gave a counter as 4. If we disable this, so we'll get a proper counter. So for each and every value, counter is incrementing for each and every uh, request. So what I'll do, I'll disable this debug sampler. I'll disable this if controller, right? So only I will have the HTTP request. Now, if I go to view results tree, if I um, remove this, if I run it now, so you can see one, two, three, four, five, six. All the time it incremented. So that's it for the video, guys. If you like the video, please click on like. If you're a new viewer, please click on subscribe. Till then, guys, take care. Have a great day. Bye bye.